Today I'm talking about the Vocor. Uh, this is a coin size Linux machine. It's got a MIPS 360 megahertz single core processor. Uh, 32 megabytes of SD RAM clocked at 133 megahertz. It's from an Indiegogo campaign back in May. I thought it was a really nice uh, machine for the sense of uh, maybe doing power over Ethernet, dropping an access point somewhere on a remote location like in a shed or something like that um, to actually have Wi-Fi access via power over Ethernet. So um, the power over Ethernet cable and adapter will be down in the description uh, that are also a lot bigger than this device but I just thought I would bring that up because that's that may be how I intend to use this device. So uh, just to give you a breakdown it's got 10 by 100 uh, megabit Ethernet and it's got USB 2.0 on this dock and it has um, USB 1.0 for power and then micro SD card slot so it's got a micro SD card slot there. I'm going to take you to the interface and just show you what the what the web interface looks like. It look it's a variant of DWRT and it gives you capabilities um, for your Wi-Fi. So this Wi-Fi chip on here does 802.11 uh, BG and N, so it does 802.11 N, and it also has firewall capabilities and Wi-Fi encryption uh, capabilities as well. So it'll do WPK and WPK2. That's what the board looks like. It's a really small footprint. And I'll take you to the interface and we'll get started. Okay, so this is the interface, the OpenWRT interface. Uh, you may be familiar with this interface. Uh, I actually wasn't, and I was surprised it has such a clean look on this small device. So um, right away, I actually connected via Wi-Fi. And now if you're updating this device, I wouldn't recommend that you'd update over Wi-Fi at all. Um, so the standard or the default username and password is just root and then vocor. And um, it's running on kernel version 3.14.18, which is relatively new. Uh, that's, that's good. Um, and it gives you the version that it's come from the SVN trunk, which is really good. Um, it gives you a lot of information. The interface is extremely snappy. Um, it shows you what software is installed on the on the Vocor device, which is really nice. It allows you to do almost everything, so scheduled tasks and LED configuration, uh, backup firmware. So if you wanted to to um, install a new image, you could do that manually. So that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, so you get control of all the interfaces, the host name, DHCP and DNS. Uh, you can run diagnostics on it. Uh, also, it has um, um, the kernel log, so you can see how things are being processed, which is really nice. So it runs really good on the MIPS processor for being 360 megahertz and, and um, actually running on such a small footprint. Uh, even the real-time load and the graphs uh, associated with this device run really well. So they're pretty attractive. It looks like that the software has been updated really well. That's really all I have. I just wanted to show you what the interface looked like on the layout of the board. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, please subscribe. Also check out my Facebook group, Linux Development Boards, um, and my subreddit. Linux boards. You guys have a good day and give me a like. Take care.